What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Exotic Agent. You know we got to get our coffee first. You guys know. And I also know why you're clicking on this video. Because you saw a thumbnail of my beautiful Russian fiance. I see you guys. I see you. If you're new to the channel, my name's Zach. I'm a real estate agent in Arizona, but I absolutely love cars. Now today, I promise you, you'll be seeing my beautiful Russian fiance later, but first we gotta get a haircut, we're gonna decorate the Christmas tree, and then she's gonna tell you some things that she loves and hates about her Mercedes, so let's get started, let's go. Just got done here at Scottsdale Barbershop. What do you guys think? Look at this haircut. He does things right. Be sure to check him out. Scottsdale Barbershop here in South Scottsdale. Now we gotta get home and decorate the tree. I think this tree desperately missing some lights. I agree. How do we make that happen? Hmm, magic. Nice. Look at that. Okay guys, so we're gonna put you guys on a time lapse right now because we have so many ornaments to go through that it's gonna take forever. So, cue the time lapse, here we go. That thing is looking amazing. Yay. And obviously she did all the work as you could see in the time lapse. All right, you guys, when you have a Russian fiance, you gotta get her a bunch of presents. Babe, I got you this many presents this year. What'd you get me? Yay! Wait, what'd you get me? What'd you get me? It's uploaded in the iCloud. Oh. <laughs> all right, you guys, we finally finished the Christmas decorations. What do you guys think? <laughs> After a really long time of hard sweat and glitter all over our faces, we finally finished the tree. Well, I have something to say because <laughs> okay, I, say I'm going to admit I'm not super excited about the tree. When I was buying ornaments, everything looked cute. Every single one. Oh, this one says Merry Christmas. This one says Happy Holidays. So I bought them all. But once I put them all together, it kind of looks like Russian borscht. I'm not gonna lie, for those of you who don't know what's <laughs> Russian borscht, it's very colorful! It does look like Russian borscht. You know, it makes me blurry. We were supposed to have like the same color and then the accent pieces. Lesson learned, next year we'll have more modern tree. Hopefully Zach will help me shop for ornaments. But this year we have a Russian borscht! Russian borscht. Okay guys, <laughs> let us know what you guys think of our tree. Is it Russian borscht? Is it your style? Is it not your style? I don't know, this is what we're rolling with this year. So that's what we got. And then over here we've got the Santa that Susha's scared of. He's still there, except now he's holding the Christmas lights. And then we've got snow all the way over here. We've got the sleigh, fresh Christmas trees. And then we've got this beautiful fireplace that I built myself. Well, I had some help, but it looks good, right? Yes. We're rolling with it this time? With fireplace? Yeah, everything. Yeah, for this year it'll work. This Next year we've year got to do we'll it. We'll have a modern tree. We've got to roll with it. And there you got it. All right, you guys, this wouldn't be a car channel without reviewing a car. So like I promised in the beginning of the day today, here's the Mercedes C300 with Susha, the owner. We just saw her decorating the Christmas tree. But I really want, just want to give you guys an insight of what it's like to own a Mercedes 300 from her opinion, from a girl's perspective, I know it's not top of the line Mercedes, but how long have you wanted this Mercedes? One year. No, how long have you wanted, wanted it? Like, you've wanted a Mercedes. I have been long. driving Mercedes since the last five years. The last five years she's been driving Mercedes. She wanted one of her own. She bought it, and now, what do you think? Tell us everything about it. I really like it. this car. I really do. I mean, I'm used to driving um, nicer cars, the 550s, 
E-Class. So the Mercedes's I drove were $100,000 worth and way faster, obviously it's awesome. However, I decided to go with this version um, and I really like the AMG, but I didn't want to pay the AMG price. So I got the AMG body, uh, which is sportier body and it has nice wheels, nice stereo system. Da -da -da. It's fast enough for me. It's extremely comfortable. Um, I think it's a perfect car for any girl. It's very compact size. Like I said, again, it has Sport 2 package. Um, so it's very like poofed out. So what cute. is the Sport 2 package? Tell us. I believe it includes the, the the roof, all the glass all around, double roof. So we've got inside the roof. You guys can see that. We, and it includes the Bartsmeister, if I said it right. Bartsmeister, Burmeister. Burmeister stereo system, which is really cool. The steering wheel is a sporty one, so it's like cut off. Um, Let's take a look. cut off at the bottom cut off at the bottom okay so we've got we've got a ton of cool things that we like tell us a couple things that you don't like about the Mercedes like somebody who's looking to buy a C300 what don't you like um I wish the screen would be bigger I'm kind of disappointed that Tesla has this huge screen and Mercedes is still in this tiny tiny I mean my iPhone is bigger than that so come on step your game up that is and, true let me get a shot of that real quick this is what she's talking about. Super small. And there is no, what is it called? Car pod, car? CarPlay, car couple CarPlay. Car it's like, hello, you have to buy a navigation. If you don't, I'm not gonna buy a navigation. I want, let's be real, everybody's using uh, phones these days. I wanna navigate through my phone, not to type in anything inside of my car. So yeah, CarPlay would be amazing because then it's just like automatically synced in. So CarPlay. That's right, because the navigation system is actually 600 bucks. Yes. Eight hundred dollars. Yes. For just an SD card. Even if I would have it, I don't think it's something I would use. So CarPlay, bigger screen. Mercedes, you're crazy. Six hundred dollars for that? These guys. Uh, and I would say that would be it. Everything else, is, I absolutely love this car. Even like uh, Zach said, it's a lower model. Well, it's not lower model. It's in between. It's a C-Class 300. It's a nice, nice, still a very comfortable price for you. Uh, extremely luxurious car. And again, you can get sport package too. So the more additions, the better. I got the extra stuff for $56,000 worth. Um, and yes, I mean, it's uh, super luxurious because you know all the buttons the uh, leather and the temperature control for your seats and everything it's amazing it's fast enough yeah so I have no complaints other than it would be nice to have a bigger screen and the car play but other than that I love this car it's amazing it's perfect okay so I have a question for you here's one thing that I think about Mercedes in a couple years this thing's gonna be outdated True. So that's the problem with Mercedes because they upgrade their no, stuff so much. No, it's a so problem much. with any other car. Well, because not Tesla, we always... because Tesla doesn't upgrade their stuff. They upgrade the software that software, allows you to not new have cars. new features. That's true, but I'm not a Tesla girl because Tesla it's is... It's true. It's a whole different animal. It's either it? you're a Rolex guy or you're an uh, Apple Watch guy. So to me, Tesla, if true. you're an Apple Watch guy, I'm a Rolex girl. I like... Oh, she's Rolex. I, I like... <laughs> She's Rolex. Oh, look at that ring, by the way. Hello. I, I like luxurious Hello. stuff. So I think, yes, this car is amazing. And for the future, I mean, for all of you who's thinking to buy this car, I think you can truly enjoy that the wonderful, comfortable price for you for two to three years, but then we're gonna want something else. So my next car, A, I'm probably gonna upgrade to an SUV because we're gonna expect a family edition. <laughs> uh, and I think I'm gonna lease. Uh, I'm not sure if what I kind of what kind of SUV are you gonna get? Well, if you wouldn't interrupt me, <laughs> that's what I was going. That's what I'm good if at. If I would, I might stick to Mercedes SUV or I might go for the Porsche Cayenne. We'll see. But it's definitely gonna be SUV. And next one, I'm gonna lease just because for that exact reason. You know, it's cheaper this way. It's a brand new car. By the way, 2020 Mercedes's do have wider all way around screens. That's true. Um, so yeah, next time I'm gonna try to lease, but meanwhile I'm enjoying this baby and I would recommend this car to any girl. It's, or even a guy, it's extremely comfortable and it's also good on gas. 
yes, it's almost just as good as my Honda. Okay guys, there you have it. She absolutely hates her Mercedes, obviously. And I said, hey, we should go film something in the garage. And she's like, no, <laughs> ni hachu, which means no, absolutely not. And then she can't stop talking. So that's what we have for the Mercedes, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on another episode of Exotic Agent. And thanks for sticking through our story, decorating our tree and giving my car review. Until the next time, but for now, peace out.